Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. Enter the dungeon. Last run good? Not fucking good enough though. God damn it, we died. Okay. Well, it's not that bad. Um, I guess we haven't killed 50 slimes yet or 50 blobulons. We should be able to buy. Mm, you know what? I like the idea of buying the heart purse. And the reason is it's very convenient to carry your hearts in. And if you get the right style, it doesn't even have to be feminine. I mean, Indiana Jones carried a satchel, as we all are aware of. Um, no, but I, I kind of feel like stuffing the uh, the uh, ballot box with items that give us HP upgrades are probably, uh, or is probably a good idea, I should say. So, we're going to play as the pilot this time. I'm trying to rotate through all the characters, you know, one by one, but I might be missing some here and there, to be honest with you. Oh, the sling! Actually, like, totally decent to fight bosses with, and, uh, the rogue special seems to be, like, completely functional. You might be saying, use your lockpick, use your lockpick. I've learned something about the lockpick, um, and what I've learned is that we should probably only use it when we're out of keys, because it has a 50% chance to break shit. Probably people have been shouting at me in the comments to, to do that, but in my head I was like, let's say, let's use the lockpick on chess, thereby saving our keys for doors. Uh, because you can't lockpick a... Maybe you can lockpick a door, now that I think about it. Um, but, but regardless... Get out of here, freaking library, man! Um, what I was gonna say is that I might be messing up character order. Shit. There you go. I'm not... This is a freaking victimless crime. I'm not letting the rat take my ammo, even if it's not, you know, worth anything for me. Um... Yes, if we if we play the quote unquote wrong characters, don't sweat it too much. We'll be rotating around all the time here. We're still it's gonna take a hundred episodes, if not more, for us to wrap our head around Gungeon to the point where we actually know what we're doing with characters, etc., etc. Um, I think I may actually just fight the boss right away. And it's gonna be the trigger twins. We have two blanks available. I think I hit an enemy I did not intend to hit there. Just kill the one twin. Thank you, aim assist, for your gracious support during my time of need. All right, there's one trigger twin dead. I can't believe we got the sling in what looked like kind of a uh, a dopey chest there. I mean, look at this. It's it's an incredible uh, value here. Don't get hit towards the end. You still got one blank available. If there's any chance of you getting hit, you use it. But oh my god. Look at that, two hegemony credits. We get the M1, which is also decent. Flawless, we also picked up some armor. Um, I don't know if we use the M1 to clear rooms. It's 110, I guess we do, because we're definitely gonna be using our sling uh, for bosses. But that is a really good start to this run. Oh, the M1 pierces as well, I forgot about that little nugget of deliciousness okay so this is actually compared to the last run we're already like balling out of control with respect to our uh, our combinations of, of weapons and items and our HP is the level that it was at uh, on the last run when we fucking died which is kind of amazing uh, really really good start I'd say we also not doing too badly on shells we got 41 here um, poison pistol yeah I don't think we really want to buy anything from that shop, which is actually kind of nice, to be honest with you, to not have to buy anything from the shop, uh, and as a result, be able to save our money, like ING Direct style, for the next floor. Lobulons. Should be able to steamroll them here. Beautiful. Um, again, I hope that that counts as like six killed, but I'm pretty sure that only counts as one. Now, we should be coming close to our next item, and we did actually get another key, so I will probably avoid using the lockpick. And we get the bug boots. Okay, so we tried to get these on the last one. We didn't have enough money. Let's see what these actually do for us here. Grants poison on dodge roll and also immunity to poison. That seems awesome. All right, so we're immune to poison and we create a creep when we roll. Uh, no wonder these were 90. I don't know, it seems like it could give me more trouble than it's worth uh, if I don't... Uh, take the necessary precautions, but I'm pretty stoked about the potential repercussions of this as of right now. I'm pretty sure that's the end of this floor. 
We don't have any keys. I guess there's like a 25% chance if we rolled a water barrel into the boss or into the fireplace, we could actually make it happen, but I think that's pretty unlikely. Uh, there actually is a little bit more space back here that I did not check out. We're in such a good position, though. Sling is great for bosses, the M1 seems like an awesome room clearer, and Bug Boots seems like a pretty incredible, uh, ooh, ooh, Mega Dowser. Potion of Lead Skin. And we could buy Potion of Lead Skin, I, and we could buy Mega Dowser and go through the fireplace, but we'd have to use our lockpicks, because we have no keys. Actually, can we even buy, yeah, that, that stuff just costs shells. Um, I think we're just gonna ignore it for now. The odds of us actually being able to go to the secret room are pretty low. And the Mega Dowser doesn't provide us with anything beyond that, so... I think we're gonna ignore it for now, but I will admit it was tempting, and if I had known that that room existed earlier, I could have, uh, maybe saved some keys. But for now, I'm just really happy to be in a, a good position with respect to the items that we have available to us, uh, as of right now. Like, the, the M1, I was like, it is pretty good. I didn't realize that, uh, when I said it's pretty good, what I should have said is that it's actually fucking amazing. Definitely take that. Uh, we got 110 bullets again. That's gonna last us a long time. Looks like they uh, the bullets lose some damage uh, after they hit an enemy, but just being able to pierce is good as well. There's a pretty good chance that we get to uh, that we get to 100 uh, shells on this floor, currency-wise, and uh, that basically allows us to buy, you know, two consumables at least, or one of whatever item we we want. It's a good time to be us on this run. This is where you want to, you know, open up the ammo Nomicon and give people the seed because ridiculously powerful so far. The only downside of the M1 is that it fires kind of slowly, but when it only takes two shots to kill uh, big enemies, who cares? I mean, it only took four shots to kill that guy. I have heard some conjecture. Does, uh... The secret room always show up with a blank. Sorry, let me rephrase that. If there's a blank that spawns on a room, does that mean there's a higher chance for the secret room to be there? I don't think so, but maybe? Ooh, gun muncher. Do I care about the gun muncher? Maybe not yet. Dude, the M1 is actually awesome. We are rolling like Lots of tiers of good shit right now. Uh, we definitely, I just looked through my weapons there, we definitely do not care about the gun muncher. I'll tell you that much. Because we are exclusively rolling sweet weapons right now. And it will not eat my, uh... Uh, it will not eat my spawn, uh, starting weapon, so... We might as well just stick with what we got. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's even more so. If it's working perfectly, don't fix it. Because that's the situation we're in right now. It is working perfectly. Let's not try to fix that. Uh, oh, careful. Maybe take out the bullets first. They're more likely to cause us trouble, I think. Beyond just being good, the M1 is really satisfying as well. Oh, I think I knocked him into the drink. Uh, we are almost out of ammo, but... Ignoring that... This is a pretty slam dunk run so far. In fact, I don't think we've been hit at all. I think there's a... I, mean, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself, you know? My mom says I uh, have performance anxiety. But, uh... I do think that it's conceivable that we could beat the boss... Like, flawless, the second floor boss here. Especially if we go in with three blanks. So far, so good. I can't really take credit for that shot. Might have been a little bit of aim assist on that one. Uh... Shoot it once. Could be a secret room in here. Just checking, just checking, just checking. What are you? Oh, I have to use it. I have to use the lockpick. It worked. I regret nothing. Actually, the flare gun is pretty good. I don't necessarily think it's incredible for us, but if we run out of M1 ammo, uh, we could use the flare gun as our room clearer. I hate this. We could use it as our room clearer until we get more ammo for the M1. You know what? Why risk it, right? We already had one spare blank. Um, why why play with fire? Uh, we're not quite done with this floor yet. Seemed like it was going a little too quickly, but that's you know partially because the M1 is being beautiful for us right now. I could use my lockpick to get into the shop, 
Might prefer not to. We'll see. For now, flying a little bit by the seat of our pants. That's the end of this room? That was way faster than I anticipated. This might do it on this room, too. Yeah. Uh, we should still have one chest available to us. And, you know, honestly, we'll probably use the lockpick on it. Oh, maybe don't shoot that. Uh, yeah, I mean, without any keys, we pretty much have to. It broke it, so we will shoot it. Uh, go with the rogue special. Maybe... Okay, it didn't give us what we wanted. Life goes on. We pretty much have to just go use the lockpick again. To hopefully get into this shop. Oh, it won't let us. So, without a key, we just can't do that. Alright, that's fine. I mean, this floor has still gone pretty well regardless. Let's take out our sling. And get ready for the ammo conda. Who don't want none unless we got buns, huh? This is a situation where, to be honest with you, I should probably be dodge rolling a little bit more. Because if we can poison the enemy, probably be good for business. Oh, that was a little dangerous. We are still in flawless territory here, though. Is that what, it, like, he eats the turrets or something and then gets powerful? I'm assuming it's just an HP buff. Careful what you wish for. I was like, I gotta get close to this guy. I regret it immensely. Oh, big miss there. Every miss actually matters kind of a lot. Some people have brought up that maybe the controller is actually like a little bit of a... A nerf, because sometimes you don't hit the shit you think you're aiming at. Like, you accidentally hit a shield or something instead. Oh my god, we flawless it. I, I sort of feel that sometimes, but it's probably a little bit disingenuous to say that it's a disadvantage. Alright, so we get, um... Valor Morghulis. And, of course, the flawless. And we have a key now, so we can actually go to our shop. That's probably a good idea. Uh, the... How do you change weapons? Or, how do you change, um... Items on the controller. D-pad. Up. Okay. Totally works. Uh, the way that this works is when you flip that coin, it kills an enemy. Let's just use our key. It kills a, a room of enemies. And allows you to... Uh, I mean, you don't know which one it is, but it, it does it is what I'm trying to say. You, you flip it in a room, it clears a room on that floor. I'm going to buy ammo for the M1. I'm definitely going to buy Table Tech Rage. Uh, I think that that is probably the best Table Tech. It gives you a damage buff every time you flip a table, and it doesn't flip all the tables on the room immediately. So that's that's pretty awesome. Valor Morghulis, I mean, I'm thinking maybe we beat the third floor boss. This is, I'm talking in the future tense. If we beat the third floor boss, just pop three coins immediately on the fourth floor, and um, and hopefully clear out three rooms there. And then that leaves us with a little bit more space to take another item in the future as well. But uh, this is this is pretty awesome. The run that we are on presently is is probably on paper the best run I've ever had. It doesn't have the best weapon I've ever had. Ooh. I don't want to open that yet. The rat can't get in, I think. Uh, okay, we can't get into that one, apparently. N not yet, anyway. What is this green one? It's a champion enemy. Whoa! Murder him. Thank you. Um, it's so rare to come across those champions. It took me by surprise, man. Just, just Okay, good. They are not finished yet. We're, we're kind of rolling through uh, M1 ammo faster than I'd like here, not getting as much out, out of it as I'd prefer. Lucky me. Like, really, really lucky me. I think, let's hedge our bets, take sling ammo. We just bought M1 ammo. So, uh, it seems more cost effective to take sling ammo right now. Not cost effective, uh, better, less opportunity cost. Because we're not foregoing full sling ammo to go uh, with something else. We played a little ring around the rosy there. We hopefully will get more ammo drops. I mean, financially, we're in a great situation again. We're almost back to the same amount of money we had on the last floor um, when we bought two things. So our momentum there is pretty crazy. We, we may well want to buy um, something from the shop key-wise. 
Thank God I bought Table Tech Rage, and now there's just no tables available. Not a mimic. Uh, again, it is in our best interest not to use the lockpick until we know we're not going to have keys. There we go. Oh, that's the good stuff right there. The damage bonus lasts pretty long, too. There's a key. Beautiful. Uh, let's just go to the ends of the earth here. Might as well try to get a damage bonus coming into this room. Nah, it's not going to last. That's okay. I also have to point out that, to the best of my knowledge, we still have yet to be hit on this run, which is fucking ridiculous. Like, that is actually some next-level shit, by my standards, at least. Why put yourself in harm's way there? One day we will be hit. That reckoning will come. Uh, but the longer we wait for it, I think definitely the more well-positioned we are. Do we have a chance to flawless the third floor boss? It's probably a theoretical possibility, but especially if we fight Cannon Balrog, you know. Or sorry, especially if we fight the, uh, the Treadnought. I would not anticipate this being too fucking likely. How I'd, I'd still just be happy to leave that fight with a decent amount of HP. Hell, I'd probably be happy to just leave that fight in general. With, with my life intact. Hmm, what do you think about that guy? It's an NPC. Do you use your key to try to get into an NPC room? Or do you accept that you're probably better off using your lockpick and hoping for the best? I don't know. We are almost out of ammo here, so that that's going to be our number one priority from the shop. Probably. But as mentioned, I think the flare gun could be acceptable for us. Here's our shop. It has no keys, but it does have ammo. It has C4. Has the machine pistol. Does it have a secret room? Just checking, dog. Just checking. 144 allows us to buy a lot of good stuff. Hate this. Hate this. You know, I'm not winning any prizes here by using the flare gun, but it has worked out so far. I mean, like, I'm hoping we just get a random ammo drop. It seems like the, the flare gun does, like, I mean, obviously it does fire damage, but... I think it does less damage than the M1, and it has to be reloaded between each and every shot, which is a little bit too much of a, a barrier to entry for me to be stoked about using it here. I'm not even sure it's ammo efficient. It just seems to, like, take a long time to work. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily make it efficient. The fact that it takes, uh... You know, five shots to kill an enemy. Oh, that's our first damage. I think. What? Okay, don't get hit ten times on this room. It's just embarrassing. I'm not too salty over losing two armor there. You know, life goes on. But uh, let's use our key to open this chest. This is the Thompson submachine gun. I'm, I'm basically doing anything in my power to avoid spending money on armor right now. Not armor, sorry, ammo. Which is probably not the best idea. Might be smart to just invest in that ammo right away, and then we'll probably take a lot less damage as a result of it. As a result of having the M1 available. But if we could save 40 credits by just getting our um, getting an ammo drop the old-fashioned way, that would be awesome. And... Honestly, the more, like, mid-tier weapons we get that kind of fit the bill of doing that, the better it is for us, because we can stall for longer. But I have started to take some damage that I was not taking. You know what? Let's try it. Ah, I regret everything. I really, I doubted that we were going to get, uh, ooh, that's at least something out of that. I doubted that we were going to get enough keys to open all of them anyway, so I figured let's, let's go for, um... You know, maybe getting a clutch lockpick play. Are we done with this floor? Seems like it. Okay, let's, I mean, let's go back and use the lockpick, I guess. We don't have to because we could get keys from the, the boss. But we're going to need them on the next floor anyway, but, you know, that's not a great excuse. I guess we have to kill some enemies before we do that. 
Uh, what about our shop? Well, I don't think you need to buy an M1 right away. Because we're probably going to be using our sling. We have two blanks. The coins don't do anything. Let's see who we're fighting. It is the tank. Okay. So the most important thing here is just do not die. And do not be afraid to crowd control. Oh, man. The sling bounces like that. I didn't actually realize. Um, do not be afraid to crowd control. Man. Ah, that was bad damage. Like, that's, that's my big problem with this fight, I think, is that... When enemies show up, I'm like, no, don't shoot the enemy. Shoot the tank. Shoot the tank, dog. But it makes it so that there's so much shit to dodge that otherwise you didn't have to dodge. Tank, I'm assuming, cannot be poisoned. Okay, that was good. That was good. Please just die. I think we crowd controlled there. Is the sling still the right choice for us on this boss? To be honest with you, I'm becoming increasingly, increasingly unconvinced of this. God damn, like this boss is so hard. <laughs> the treadnought, man. Compare this motherfucker to the cannon Balrog, it's not even close. It's like the strongest run I've ever had. And this guy's still almost shit on us. We got hit seven times. We got a crutch. You need it. Hello, what's up? You gonna you gonna take this uh, sleeping cat away from me? Adds aim assist of a sort. Every bullet will try really hard to hit a target, even if it's aimed incorrectly. That's I mean that's pretty much already what we got going with the controller. Did we get extra HP? No, it's because we flawless our last boss. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Try the lockpick. Nope. That means we should go. I mean, we could also shoot every single chest for HP, and considering our HP is not good, that's that's probably advisable. So let's let's go through with that. Uh, and I think we'll buy the M1 from our sh or not M1, but M1 ammo from our shop as well. Okay, so we got junk. What you doing? Okay. okay. Um, is there, I thought there was one more chest, but I guess not. So we will go to our shop. And buy the ammo, but make sure you're buying it for the right gun. Do we need HP? Honestly, I don't think so. I don't think we need C4. We already have an active item that we actually want to use. And weapon-wise, I think we're fine. Oh, we do seem to have a lockpick. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> I've made enough mistakes here. All right, let's play better on the next floor. Hey! Don't bite the headphone cord. You've been activated. Get out of here. All right. 110 bullets. Not, oh, don't forget we have Table Tech Rage. I'm not doing quite as much damage as I would hope for. But the fourth floor is a crapshoot anyway. So I'm just going to be happy to, uh... Hey, everybody, my hard drive ran out of space. So I, uh, had to restart the recording here. So these are going to be stitched together. But we're, we're doing this okay. Still got good HP. Just deleted some, ah! Just deleted some files to make sure that we had enough space. Yo, flip more tables. You got Table Tech Rage, dog. You should be flipping tables non-stop, but also we need to get ourselves in a position where I can actually flip a table safely. There we go. Okay, take your damage bonus. Kick his ass, sea bass. Good stuff. Get in there. Table tech rage has served you well. Are we going to be able to actually uh, beat the fourth floor boss? Honest oh, excuse me? Honestly, I think a lot of it comes down to... I was going to say, is there one more enemy on here or something? A lot of it is going to come down to, do we have enough HP uh, to survive? That was an unfortunate use of a blank, but um, do we have enough HP to survive what is going to be the inevitable, oh my lord, onslaught of, um, of damage that's going to come out there? Uh, you know, I would love to act like we have the opportunity to just, you know, dodge every attack the boss is going to throw out, but I don't know the bosses that well. I'm also going to take out this coin. We're going to flip it. 
We're gonna flip it. And we're gonna flip it. That should clear three rooms for us. And we'll know that the room got cleared because of this. Thanks for the ammo. What? The rat took my ammo after I cleared the room using the coin. Yo, that's bullshit though, dog. It's not actually bullshit. It's just a uh, unfortunate series of events. You know, we got fucking lemony snicketed. Whoa, don't get hit like that. That is fairly unforgivable. We genuinely have the chance for this to be our best run ever. What tools of the of the trade, what pieces of the puzzle are we missing? Uh, this guy's gonna be annoying. Uh, honestly, I think we need an active item. Beyond that, I don't think we're missing a whole hell of a lot. Nice. Um, like, if we got double vision, I would be thrilled about our chances. Uh, if we got... I mean, at this point, I'm kind of feeling like the lockpick has probably overstayed its welcome a little bit. Uh, but if we got a uh, potion of lead skin, I would feel like maybe there's uh, some value in there. If we got potion of gun friendship, oh, that's pretty good. If we got potion of gun friendship, I would be stoked. But we're kind of, uh, oh, fuck. We're kind of beholden right now to my own play, which scares the shit out of me. At least Table Tech Rage is working out amazingly for us. And it really is working out amazingly for us. Like, if we did not have this, uh, I think that we would have probably wanted to get rid of the M1. Or at least wanted something better than the M1 for room clearing. But this actually gives us the chance to not... Oh, <laughs> there's a key somewhere here. Uh, gives us the chance to not only be successful, um, but be... Oh, there it is over there. Uh, but actually, like, not just survive, but thrive, I guess, is the cliche that I'm trying to dredge up here. Uh, what'd you take from me this time? No, nothing. That was just Valor Morgunus. Which just means, um, that that was one of the rooms that was cleared by the coin that we flipped. Which is sweet. Uh, that's why I kind of think it's, like, a death card that is, like, time delayed. Or not time delayed, but time static. That is really an enemy that we should not have been hit by. Life goes on, though. Two and a half HP. With 148 credits. That, yeah. I saw your shit. I saw your shit, and I pushed it in. Don't even try that shit with me, Mimic. This ain't my first rodeo. I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. What do you got there? Muscle relaxant. Loosening up. So many passive items. You also got a book of chest anatomy. Greatly increases accuracy. That doesn't seem that effective. Oh my god, I almost broke it with one shot. Uh, shot grub. I think this is actually pretty good. Let's try to use it on a room. Um, that was good. That was real good. It's a poison shotgun. Oh my god. This fucking ice. Makes it tough to dodge, dog. Makes it real tough to dodge, dog. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's M1 quality, but it doesn't seem bad. How much ammo do we have left in the M1? 72. How much dam uh, ammo do we have left in the sling? 56. So let's take the sling ammo. Um, I think I was trying to talk about what we had left with respect to our... Uh, with respect to our money. So with 148 shells, uh, on this floor we honestly may want to invest in as much HP as the shop will allow us to have. I don't think we're beating the boss on uh, 2 HP, no blanks. And this is really kind of a moment of truth. I'm not sure if we're going to be better off against the, the fifth floor boss, assuming we actually have a chance to make it that far. But uh, it, it should theoretically have a chance to, to, to happen. As long as I don't completely shit the bed, which kind of has been happening lately, unfortunately. On this floor, not on, not on this run in general. On this run, we've been relatively safe. Nice. Uh, we will take more ammo there. And we found our shopkeeper. Hello, shopkeep. Irradiated lead gives us poison bullets. As much as I would love it, I think we gotta go like... Well, first off, okay, nothing up there. Just checking. You, you require money. Elder blank is a reusable blank, which actually does seem great. But I think you buy the full heart... You buy the half heart, and then you know what? We got it. Let's take irradiated lead. Uh, we got three and a half HP, and no money. I think we just go for it. I don't think it has a great chance to work. 
Is there any weapon we might prefer to use? I don't think the shot grub's gonna do it. The sling has been great for us so far. This will be uh, very much a moment of truth. This guy is not unbeatable. Oh, that was real bad damage, but I tend to think of this guy as kind of like the cannon balrog of the fourth floor. Mind you, I think I've only fought him once. So I, I don't necessarily think that it's gonna be uh, easy. But I think that it's the boss that definitely gives us... Oh my god, we lived. Uh, it's the boss that gives us the best chance of actually being able to defeat him. Probably. So for this, you probably want to... Ah, I should have dodge rolled, obviously. What do you think, M1 maybe? I mean, the sling is great, but the M1... It's been doing good work for us. We can still get hit two more times. Oh god, we lived. It's really, I feel like we gotta go M1 for the faster rate of fire on these fucking skulls, dog. Joshua Jackson's best film. Okay, this is, this is dangerous because we can't hit him here. No blanks. Oh god, we can only get hit one more time. Don't blow it, don't blow it, don't blow it. You only get one, would you take it or let the opportunity slip away? Knees weak and uh, palms are spaghetti. Okay, we lived. Um, got some keys. White guanstone kindles blanks. When you get hit, it gives you a chance to get some blanks, maybe. Increases blank regeneration. Grants its bearer an additional blank every floor. That seems good. Did we miss? I mean, we should have missed a lot on this floor. But to be honest with you. I'm content to go down to the next floor. We've made it to floor five for the second time in our adult lives. Do we have a chance? I'd say any run where you've made it this far, you got a chance. We have no super meat gun, no fight saber, but we're at least alive and kicking it. What do you do on this floor? Well, you hope for some fucking HP is what I would suggest. Dude, the M1 is so fucking good. Look at that. Just destroying enemies. Now, it's partly because of the poison bullets, maybe. Forgot about this guy. Totally fine. Great work, team. Okay. That was beautiful. What is this champion who dies in one hit? And where can I sign up to get more of him on a room-to-room -room basis? It's a skeleton man with demon arms! He died in two M1 hits? Oh, we're like so close to death though. We need HP back from here, from this room. Yo, just for the record, you definitely should not- <gasps> What hit me? Did I burn? Did I burn? I think I burned. Oh god. You know what? That was still a beautiful run. I can't be mad, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.